Look at what our little Doraemon digivolved into. They digivolved into a Doraemon. I guess that makes sense. I mean, Doraemon was one of the original Digimon who survived, you know, the great wiping of old Digimon. They were like the the progenitor. Is that a word? Progenitor? Anyway, he's got the built-in X antibody in his frickin' forehead. And the point is that he's kind of an evolutionary marvel, a bit like the Dodo, because we start with Dodomon, then Dodimon, then Dodumon. I mean, sure, Dodo is an acronym, but that's just a theory. Anyway, we really wanted to see if they would combine and do battles together, because the original V-Pets can apparently fight with them. So let's have a look-see. Sushin Battle. Let's see, Pendulum, Dejimon. So if it's going to be any of these, it might be Dejimon. Sonota would be other. We'll select you. Okay. Will it blend? <gasps> it works! <laughs> it does! Alright, Vmon versus Dodumon. Oh, this is cool. I'm really glad that they set this up. I mean, like I said, it could be both of them backward compatibility, tapping into the original V-Pets kind of compatibility. But dang! <gasps> That's the first time I've seen Vmon lose! At least to another digital pet. Good lord, Dodemon, well done. Well, that answers that. I'm gonna put this guy back to sleep. Hey, don't look at me like I'm heartless. I've got other things to do, okay? I can't be raising six digital children at once. I did this for science, okay? Don't give me that look, please. It's fine, though. It's cool. It saves the data, so whenever we come back, our little Dodemon will be right where we left them. I hope it's like a cryogenic freezing thing, you know, that science fiction that doesn't exist yet. Hopefully it's just like that and and they're like totally not mad at me and they won't they won't even notice. They'll be like it'll be like a sneeze or like a deja vu. They'll be like, "Huh? Did something happen?" I'll be like, "No, no, you're just imagining things. I am the best caretaker." Ah. Moving on, area 4 is oh. Well, I guess that shake did it. <laughs> it's Camaramon. So, let's send out our next guy. Let's Let's see, we got a new egg, right? We got this axe thing going on, we got the love egg. And this will digivolve Vmon into a spiky pterodactyl. <laughs> I don't know that Digimon. <laughs> huh? 29? I must look so ridiculous just slapping this thing as hard as I can in the most exaggerated motions possible. <gasps> oh, this guy's really strong. Chimeramon! Oh yeah, I see you there with Kabuterimon's helmet. I see what's going on. Uh, this Digimon looks really familiar, the one that Vmon digivolved into. I just can't put my finger on it. It looks so familiar. Don't lose all that damage. Don't lose that much health in one hit. That was four. We're only doing two. Okay, send in a big one. Is that just one? I swear to crap. It's fine. You know what? You can pass on that one because that was a stupid hit. And you don't need to... Three with... Th three? We're 100% going to lose this. What are we supposed to do? Oh my gosh, are we supposed to scan and try to find more partner Digimon so we can start doing DNA Digivolution or something? Because, oh god! We lose! Hard! Okay, no, that's fine. Here, have, have a little bit of Cheerios. It's pronounced Cheerio, but, you know, I like to imagine that all Digimon are cured by Cheerios. What the heck, man? Let me see the DP. 59? God, we're over here, like, going toward the vaccine state, and it's gonna make our HP higher, but our, but our attack lower. And the way the thing works with its luck and whatnot, I almost wonder if I should be maximizing for damage. I don't know, different, different Digimon did evolve into different things, so... Let's see who this is, anyway. This is Setelmon? Set... Setmon? Oh! If it's Setmon, then I've heard of that one. But it looks like he wants to go toward the virus side. We might want to put them back in the middle, you know? Just let Virus Digimon be Virus Digimon, and let Vaccine Digimon be Vaccine Digimon. I'm thinking about it, because if we end up in those situations where I'm like, yeah, I want maximum power, I kind of want to leave them back into data. Yes. Train, into the darkness! Now with this one, we just press it as fast as we can. Hmm. <laughs> 19. Oh, please don't tell me this is like with the shakes, where it's not about speed, it's about a specific number. Oh, go on. Yeah! Okay, four's not bad, 19 ain't bad. That's, uh, cool. Yes, cheer! Claps for Vmon, he did something evil! I guess we should do more searches. Maybe eventually we'll run into a partner Digimon. There's a way to actually see what things you can acquire in the- <gasps> Not you again! This guy wrecked us last time, it's Egamon! Okay, alright, you know what? Uh, go- See, maybe we can get, get you back to being an evil dragon. No, it's still a vaccine thing! Crap! 32, is that good? It's one of my favorite numbers! It is one of those multiples of eights that I love so much. Oh, that's awesome, we're actually hitting it this time. Maybe last time was just a bunch of bad luck, and this time we're gonna just hit every time. <gasps> wow! See what I'm talking about? 
When you need power, get a virus. That only applies to Digimon, though. Sweet. Dude, that is so cathartic. That was so nice. You know what? That was lovely. After the last time when we couldn't get a single hit and we just slowly watched them kill us, <gasps> we got the Miracle Egg. Did we seriously just get the Miracle Egg? I'm not misremembering what Kiseki means, right? Because Miracle Egg, I read about this, is like the strongest egg. It can make everyone turn into just like the best thing ever. So let me see. Who is that? Magnamon? Magnamon! <gasps> Magnamon! And their power is five! 5 AP! Okay, what's the point, man? What's the point of doing anything else after that point? Okay, so with the Ijo egg, they did evolve into Horusmon. Horusmon. Oh, yeah, that's actually from the anime, isn't it? Uh, let's see, what else could you did evolve into? Is this with the Kiseki? No, that's the knowledge. Where's Kiseki? <gasps> you turn into a Peacockmon. Peacockmon? Hey, their AP is still four, though. That's awesome. Attack power is... that's phenomenal. What about Tailmon? First the love egg, they turn into a swan. That is just Swanmon. They're a straight up virus? Swanmon? I guess I could see that face belying certain horrible family secrets or something. And with the Kiseki egg, they get to digivolve into... Meirdramon. Meir... Meirdramon? Horse dragon? Armadillomon will digivolve into... Puteranomon. Put Puteranomon? Puteranomon, like a pterodactyl, I think. Yeah, I guess it's like a pterodactyl. And then the Kiseki egg for you is... <gasps> oh, I thought that was Mammon. That's Erifamon. Elephantmon! So everyone else so far that I've checked their stats with the Kiseki egg, the Miracle Egg, they are uh, attack power of four, whereas opposed to a Vmon, they actually get five. So this is Ninomon. Oh, Rhinomon. Oh, their attack is the lowest of all. Hmm. What about you? Peepeesmon? Peepeesmon? Why are you Peepeesmon? And why is your attack terrible? Maybe Patamon's attack just sucks. Well, that's that! And now when we, uh, go back another 500 steps, we'll be able to try out the Miracle Egg. Ah, oh, I want to do it today, but I just don't have a thousand hours today. In fact, yesterday's video was so long that, like, I'm still doing work from the last two days that I was supposed to do. But don't worry about that. Just know that when we come back, we will take Chimeramon on again with the Digimental of Miracles with Magnamon, and it's gonna be great. Oh, and more news about Digimon Rearise. Apparently it's out. They said releasing this summer, but I guess they meant now. I guess it is technically summer. I tried to get a Japanese region Google Play account, but I've, even though I followed like three tutorials that all promised that I'd be able to have a Japanese Google Play account, none of them worked. None of them. I tried. I spent an extra two hours of my day, which I don't have as it is, trying to get the frick thing on my phone. I know you can download APKs, but one, they won't be updated, and two, they might be virused, and it's just, I want to be able to play it legitimately with people, you know? The more I look at it, the more it's looking like it's not more like Pokemon Go. There's just that step GPS counting aspect of it, but it's gonna be pretty story-driven. It's gonna be pretty cool. I, like, I really wanna play it. I don't know, if you have any tips on how to get a Japanese Google Play account, let me know. It seems like I could probably just redo what I did before, but this time make sure like make sure that I'm using a completely new browser a browser with everything cleared of it And then uh, I think it was like clear off all credit card information from your phone Which I don't have in my phone, so I don't know why it didn't work even then I don't know what I'm in such a rush for because like I keep saying my phone's probably gonna be too slow to play it and Record it at the same time anyway, so it's all right But if you do get a hold of it and you play it, let me know what you think about it Is it fun? Like what aspects of it? Like what would you say it could compare most to? I know people were saying that Digimon links, which I think is in English. It's it's released in America. It looks like an upgraded version of that, but then other people were like, no, just because they're using the same character models doesn't mean that. So yeah, let me know what you think about it. I'm curious. Describe it to me. Paint paint me a picture because I just, I'm just not allowed to play it. Thanks to the patrons for supporting my channel, especially Cookie Face Shifter and Zombie Eater, and patrons, sorry about the wait on the comic. It's not set in stone that it goes up on Mondays, but I wasn't able to get it because I've been, yeah, like I said, super stinking busy. But it's up now, and thanks for coming by. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.